got. Old Betsy, she's uh, slid off the road just a touch. I dropped this trailer. I'm trying to pick up this trailer. I'm trying to avoid hitting this trailer when I'm backing up. And uh, here's what you got. This is super slick. We had a good rain yesterday. So there you go. And uh, I'm not getting out of that. So I'm waiting on a tow right now. And uh, then we can get on to business. So that's what we got for the day. It looks like my, my tow vehicle is uh, coming up the road right here. So better get busy. But anyway, having some fun in the mud, hedgehog style. All right, boys and girls, here we are. Getting loaded. Live loading today. Here over at Hedgehog Solid. On the other hand, I could have, we, there's only one way in here, come in this way and then go down, turn around and come back. Well, I said up here at the top of that hill where that wood pile is, I turned around right there and I'm like, yeah, I just backed down here. So I backed down this hill, but it would have been a lot faster if I would have just went down and turned around. But always good to practice back, so no big deal there. It's beautiful out today. Just about done with this job, and then we'll be moving. So here's some of the wood, some of the log wood anyway. Pretty good sized stumps. So, yep, just about done with this job, and the mud here anyway. And we'll just deal with some new wood. Some new mud somewhere else, probably, until we get into the dry season. So, no, well, that's what you got. Getting ready to go strap this up, get the first part strapped, the way he finishes the back. And, uh, me, and my rubber boots. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. This is a guy that knows how to run a knuckle boom. He's like five minutes and that truck's six, seven, six, seven minutes the truck's unloaded. He does a fantastic job. Beautiful day today still. Nice to see. the knuckle boom but it's not that quick quick nor that pretty last time I just ran it the other day I didn't want to run it but I was gonna run it until somebody came out and said oh that guy doesn't know what he's doing but uh, it took me start to finish from the time I weighed in to the time I left it took me 50 minutes so so it took me 40 minutes to unload my truck and he could do it in probably seven minutes. He was getting ready to go back down the hill here. About 
two shakes. I'm out of here. One more scoop. So I gotta go. See you guys later. All right. You guys take it easy and uh, gotta get some pollen done. You guys take care. We'll see you next time. Catch on, Charlie.